In this chapter we are going to talk about the technology, so in this video I would like to bring some introduction to this topic. So, to begin with, what is technology? And the very basic definition that you will find is that it is the combination combination and now you will find many things maybe you will find abilities abilities maybe you will find knowledge knowledge maybe some some machines so machines but what is more important and and the definition will continue in the books is that this combination of of maybe equipment is used so is used to convert to and I will change the color for the word so to convert convert or change or change and we can get to what color raw materials or our input so we have raw materials to valuable products to valuable products and that that is the that is the point why our company exists so just imagine that there is some some input to our company so input and maybe it is it is something like this and it is worth maybe four dollars and now it will come to our company so here will be our company and what what comes out what is the output so output from our company that must be worth more so maybe it will be bigger and it will be worth here it will be the original four dollars and this is the additional value that's what the comp that's what our company adds to the product so we are converting and or changing the raw materials to valuable products and now uh, to continue with uh, in the organization there are uh, we call it the three levels so three levels of technology in organization so technology and and they are going to be quite intuitive so here will be one two and three the first one is called the individual level so individual individual and with the individual level you can imagine maybe some knowledge or competencies of individuals so here we actually care about our employees so employees as individuals as, as our name of the level says in the second level uh, we are going to have so-called functional or departmental so functional functional or departmental departmental you will more often find the word functional and what I like to add always here is that we care about some groups or some teams so groups or teams so just imagine the hospital and uh, and the team of, of uh, some doctors we can take a look at them as the employees and then they have got some individual technology so they have got some knowledge and when we look at them as a group we see something more so we see the combination of these individual skills and at the at the highest level we are going to have the organizational so organizational organizational and that is the most interesting one for us because that is the subject to study so here we will have and I will change the color so this is going to be our subject to study to study because we we cannot really influence the, the individual ones or the departmental ones what we can influence and what we can study the most is the organizational one and the basic you will in next videos you will see several opinions about how theoretician sees uh, the the organizational technology or how the technology predetermines the structure of organization but the very basic difference or the way, very basic division you can remember is the difference between the mass production so mass production and second one is going to be the craft work so craft work and I will a little bit of a definition here so in the next video we can continue better so the mass production is is used mm, to assembly or or to process a lot of goods so a lot 
You can also remember to save some costs. Save costs. You can also remember that they are going to be standardized. Standardized. And, and in the case of the craft work, what is the best to remember is that these products are going to be custom or custom designed. So, custom designed. Design. So, uh, this was the introduction to the technology. And maybe I would like to add a little bit more. I'm sorry, I will delete here this one point. And I would like to show you the, the flow of the materials in the company and how is, how is technology attached to it. So that there is going to be some input to the company. So we have some, some entry, we can say, some entry to the company. And now there are going to be three phases in the company. So one, two and free and then there is going to be that, that the work or the product leaves so here it leaves and what are going to be the names of uh, these our free stages i think it is very intuitive at first we are going to have some input stage input stage then there is going to be some conversion so conversion and finally there is going to be the output so output and all these are processes so here are processes so if you will imagine any kind of a company imagine uh, those works and those functions that are connected to some input maybe here is going to be some uh, manager that takes care about um, some supplier so here will be some supplier management here is going to be some conversion process so we are actually changing and converting the raw materials and then these products leaves our company so that is our output or or selling to the distributors so distributors and and you can see that these these free processes or these free stages are connected and they are always interlinked and it, it, this will be important in the next videos as uh, the functions in the company depend on each other very often. So hopefully this was a good introduction and see you in the later videos.